Matrix Revolution. Hello, thank you for joining. Welcome to the Genomics Revolution podcast. My name is Ashanti Wright, and I'm from the 2021 Hiram College Genetics course, hosting this episode on the genome Streptobacillus monoliformans strain DSM-12112. From here on out, I'll just refer to the organism as DSM. So we know that this organism is the cause of a deadly disease. However, little information describing the pathogenesis of DSM exists. After analyzing two genes, there may be more information in regards to how invasive DSM really is. Both of these genes take part in polysaccharide deconstruction. Gene one of interest belongs to the polysaccharide lyase family, while the other belongs to the glycosyl hydrolase family. Glycoside hydrolases are important enzymes that support bacterial growth by enabling the degradation of polysaccharides, for example, starch, cellulose, xylem, and chitin in the environment. These polysaccharides represent the major source of energy for most heterotrophs, including many microbes like bacteria in this case. These heterotrophs produce glycoside hydrolases to degrade polysaccharides and release monosaccharides. And examples of these are glucose, fructose, and xylose. They are key resources for microbial growth. We can now really see how DSM is a metabolic thief as it takes it from its environment. But in addition, literature reveals that unsaturated glycurinal, glycurinal, sorry, hydrolase catalyzes the hydrolytic release of unsaturated glucuronic acids from all the osaccharides. And these are produced by the reactions of the polysaccharide lyases. So do you see how the two are connected? In addition, these polysaccharide lyases are capable of acting on hyaluronin and chondroitin in the extracellular matrix of host tissues. This contributes to the invasive capacity of the pathogen. However, the localization of these enzymes were quite unclear, but p sort b results indicate that it could be localized to the cytoplasm. To further this research, it would be beneficial to understand how DSM is able to act on the extracellular matrix. The capacity of pathogenic micro, microorganisms to adhere to host cells and avoid clearance by the host immune system is the initial and most decisive step leading to infections. Bacteria have developed strategies to attach to diverse host surface structures. So an important strategy is the adhesion to the extracellular matrix, and these require certain proteins. 